Hello everybody, this is Petey from Bergjar Arcade at BergjarArcade.net and here we are back again with another episode for our RPG character controller. So let's go ahead and we'll jump straight into Unity. And I'm going to go right into Mechanism because everything we're going to work on today is going to be done here. And the thing I wanted to cover today are blend trees. There are other ways to start organizing some of these animations, such as coming over to the Layers tab and creating another layer, putting stuff on here. And we'll be looking at layers in a different video. You can even go ahead and change the name of your base layer if you want. I'm just going to keep my base layer. But I really want to look at blend trees and the way to basically take what we already have, the walk run, and make it just one blend tree. Because right now we only really have three animations set up, the idle, the walk, and the run. But as you start adding turning and jumping and all the other stuff that you want, you can see how this can get really complex and just lines everywhere. So let's take a look at how to organize some of this. So I'm going to come down right below idle and I'm going to go to create a new, or sorry, create from blend tree. And right out the bat, I wish it was a different color or a different shape than just the regular, the animations. And if we take a look here, it is the exact same. The only difference is the motion instead of using, I'll we'll click walk and an actual animation. It's using a blend tree instead. And there's got to be a way to actually save blend trees so we can pick them up, but that's something we can look at later. But I just wish it was a different shape or color. If we go ahead and take a look at the Create Substate Machine, it is a different shape, so it stands out really you know, quickly. But it's a minor thing, and we're not going to dwell on it. So we'll go ahead and we'll delete that. And let's take a look at this blend tree. I'm going to go ahead, double click it. And if we take a look up here, now we're gone from the base layer to our blend tree. And this blend tree is whatever you actually name it. So many people seem to create theirs and call it locomotion. And I think it's because the very first video Unity ever did on Mechanum, uh, they called it locomotion. And I think just everyone's just named it locomotion ever since then. For now, I want to keep mine as a blend tree because I know I am going to be changing this in later videos. So the first option we get here is to play around with the blend type. For this video, we're just going to keep it as 1D. And the parameter we're going to be working with, well, you can only work with floats and we only have one forward. In later videos, we'll come back over to parameter. We can go ahead and create another float. Uh, probably in the next video, we'll be working with turning. And I like to keep my floats together, so I'm going to put them up there. Now, if we came over here, we actually do have the option to pick a different float that we're going to be working with. But like I said, next video, we'll work with turning. And another thing is with the parameter that we're working with, you'll also see the little slider over here for it. And that really comes in handy when, when you want to preview your changes. So motions, we need a list. Well, we're going to add two of them. And if we click the little plus button, we have two options. We can add a motion field, which is just an animation like we've done with the other ones. Or we can go ahead and add a blend tree. So our blend trees can blend blend trees, which can then blend more blend trees and blend trees upon blend trees. And while it does actually sound confusing, uh, once you start playing with them and you realize just how easy it is to organize certain animations, or at least the blending of between animations, you realize it really does make things simpler and easier to debug later on. So let's go ahead, we're gonna add a couple motion fields here. I'm gonna go ahead, add one, we'll add another one. And this thing pops up. Whoa, what the hell is this? Well, let's go ahead, we'll add one more. Actually, let's go ahead, we'll add two more. And these little peaks up here, they correspond with the animations that are playing down here. So if we take a look, the zero here goes with this threshold, which is zero. So whatever animation we put in here, it's going to be played at 100%. And of course, if we come over to the next one, which is 0 0.3333, and I'm actually going to go ahead and move this forward that much, just so it's lined up perfectly. Whatever animation is associated with this threshold is going to be played at 100% as well. And of course, you can, as you move this slider down here, any value between there is going to blend between the two. And the weight is going to be given to well, whatever we're closest to. This will probably make a little bit more sense when we actually start adding animations here. But since we're going to be working with two, let's get rid of a couple. And I actually am going to click Automate Thresholds. I just want to put this back to value of one. And I'll go ahead and click that again. And let's go ahead and actually add our animations here. So we want to come down to our Animation Folder, Mail Locomotion. Select that Blend Tree again. I'm going to go ahead and take the Walk Animation. So open up the FBX file with the Walk in it. Let's grab the actual walk play clip here. It has that little play button. We'll go ahead, we'll drag it in up here. And we'll also grab this standard run and we'll drag it into the second one. 
And I'm going to lead automatic thresholds for now. I'm going to leave that checked as uh, 0 and 1 is the values that I want. And the adjust time, I'm not going to play around with in this video. Uh, we're not going to bother setting it manually, the adjust times. And we don't need to mirror any animations this time around. So let's go ahead and we'll take a look at this. We can preview it. Let me center it a bit more uh, by hitting this play button. And let's start it off at 0. And as I said before, at 0, it's at 100% walk. So this is 100% of our walk animation. And as we slide this across, you notice how it starts to blend more towards that run animation. And of course, at 1, that threshold of 1, he's at 100% of the run animation. Now, if we had another animation, maybe for sprint, we could set it up so that maybe that top um, 10%, so 0.9, to one could be that sprint animation, but I haven't actually gone out and looked for one yet, so we'll just we'll just stick with the walk and run. So I'm just gonna go ahead and set that back down to zero, and we don't have to hit play there. All we had to do is pause it was to hit play there. So let's go ahead. We'll jump back into the base layer. Simply click the base layer button. I'm gonna go ahead and delete these two values here as we no longer need them. And I'm going to go ahead and make the transition down to here and make the transition back up. And they're going to be the exact same value that we had before. So forward, to go from idle to our blend tree, uh, forward is going to be greater than 0.1. And then to go from our blend tree to idle, it's going to be less than 0.1. Now let's go ahead, we'll jump into the scene view. And one thing, actually, before we do that, that I always forget is to turn off has exit time. There we go. And turn on foot IK. But we're not going to be playing with that this video. I like to make sure it's checked anyway. I'm going to go ahead, make my save, just in case something bad goes on. And we'll go ahead, he drops down. And when we hit the forward button, he goes. So just like before, but so much cleaner. We can actually come in and go ahead and delete these now. And in the next video, we're going to go ahead and take a look to have uh, two different blend trees set up. One for walking, one for running. And we'll go ahead and start adding the turning animations in so we can actually, well, turn left and right while we walk and run. Anyway, thanks for watching everyone, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. So if you like the video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. It really does help me out here on YouTube. And go ahead and follow me on Twitter. I could be a pretty chatty guy over there when I'm not walking through a forest or being stalked by eagles and falcons, lions, tigers, and bears.